hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video we are going to have a look at yet another nifty homegrown tool called as llm pen llm pen as you can see on your screen is a web-based application which runs entirely in your web browser without any backend you can either use the hosted version of the github pages or you could install it after cloning it locally for development or for offline use in this video we are going to install it offline and then we will see how it works there are two ways you can use it one you can use it with openai model but of course you would need an api key for that that is a paid option or better yet you can use it with olama hosted model for offline usage this uses view.js and a white the application is built using Vue.js which offers a responsive and modern user interface and why it is used for fast development and bundling. As I said, you can even directly use it from the browser without a backend because it is deployed on the GitHub pages. So let's get started. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So do check them out. So this is my Ubuntu system. I am also using this GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, courtesy mass compute. Let me clear the screen. First up, we need to install few of the prerequisites which include Node and NPM. Let's first install NVM which is a tool to install Node and NPM. So first let's run this command. So here I am installing NVM. That shouldn't take too long. That is done. Let's also set it in our browser. So I'm just copying this and then pasting it again and that is set here and you can check the NVM version by doing NVM version and our NVM is installed. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's install node and NPM with the help of NVM. Just do dash dash LTS and that should install it, it fairly quickly. That is done. Let's quickly check node version. And let's also check the npm version make sure that it is the recent and latest version so let me clear the screen okay so now we know that how to get this thing installed here next up we need to uh, make sure that olama is running because i'm going to use hosty a locally hosted a model if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest and fastest tool to run large language models locally if you're just getting started in AI, I would highly suggest use Olama. So let's first install it. Just click on download from the olama.com, of course. And as I am using Linux, I'm just going to grab this command from here, go back to my terminal and then run it here. This is going to install Olama. Shouldn't take too long. Let's wait for it. And the Olama is installed. Now, next up, you can simply run olama list here to see if it is running it's not so we need to start the service so just do sudo system etl start service dot olama or what is it olama dot service i guess there you go now if you do olama list this should show you that no model is present shortly first time it takes a bit of a time and there you go, you see that now Olama is running. So we have our node npm installed, our Olama installed. Let's also grab an Olama based model. So let's go back to Olama's website on the top right, click on models. Then maybe we'll go with Llama 3.2, which is quite a good model. Just grab this command Olama run Llama 3.2, go back to the terminal and run this command in the terminal here. This is going to download the model and then it is going to verify the checksum of the model and you can see that the model size is just 2 gig which is already downloaded as we were speaking and then it is going to check the checksum and we should be ready to go there you go so you see it is now verifying the checksum of it so let's wait for it to finish checksum 
and that is all done almost and we have our model ready so i'm just going to exit from here and if i do olama list now we have our olama model okay let's clear the screen and now let's install this llm pen first up let's simply create a conda environment a virtual environment this is not mandatory but i always try to do it so that we will keep everything separate from our local system let's wait for it to get created and activated shouldn't take too long and that is done let's also get clone the repo of llm pen and i will drop the link to it in video description and that is done and we are in that llm pen directory next up we need to install everything here so again in conda environment make sure that you have your node and npm visible yep everything is good also make sure olama is running cool let's clear the screen and then you need to run this command npm install to install everything from the current repo and that is already done which is cool next up let's run it in the development mode for that we would need to run this command which is npm run attempt and you can see that now the application is running on my local system let me access it in my browser and there you go the application is running in the browser at localhost at port 5173 and from this drop down you can either select local llama or open ai and then rest of the uh, interface is very very simple so for instance as soon as you select this olama you see that it has already de detected our llama 3.2 latest model here and you can just start chatting with it like anything but is happiness and then click on send or press enter or you could ask it to write you a code like write me a hello world program it has written it and you can see on the right hand side it has a, it has even shown you the output so pretty cool and everything is running in our browser which is really awesome and it is quite a lightweight too and as i said if you would go with this open ai one you would need a paid account with open ai and you would need to go to platform dot open dot com and grab your local uh, lo your paid ip api key from there so before i move forward let me also thank to our sponsors of the video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use a browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and i will drop the link to their website in video's description too so that's it guys <clears throat> i hope that you enjoyed it i'm not testing any models because we do it on the daily basis but the tool looks quite good it's a lightweight it runs in the browser and there are few other features which you can check out on its website if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching